Most people believe that the inherent need to satisfy immediate gratification stems from greed, a lack of self-control, or the ability to sacrifice a smaller short-term gain for a greater long-term gain. While I agree, I also think that some of our short-sighted decisions stem from the natural way we compare alternatives in the decision-making process. In fact, I think the real cause of immediate gratification can be found in this picture from Dan Ariely's Predictably Irrational. Which of the dots is larger? In this illusion, it looks as though the dot on the left is larger. If we do a quick measure, we can easily see that the dots are in fact the same size. Even with this newly minted knowledge, if we lose the ruler, our eyes go back to seeing the dot on the left as being larger. The problem is relativity. As Ariely states, our natural tendency is to compare things that are easily comparable and avoid comparing things that are not easily compared. So how does this apply to immediate gratification? Just as our eyes can be tricked by visual illusions, our mind can be tricked by cognitive illusions. A great example of a cognitive illusion is my slightly modified example from Predictably Irrational. It is an illusion I have fallen for many times before. Suppose you are standing in line at the market, getting ready to check out with your fancy $15 toothbrush. When the person in front of you turns around and tells you that across town, they have the same toothbrush on sale for $7. You get out of line, hop in your car, and drive the 20 minutes across town to get your toothbrush for $7. The next week, you were at the suit store. You were standing in line, ready to check out with your $500 suit, when the person in front of you tells you that across town, they have the same suit on sale for $492. You think to yourself, $8 off a $500 suit? That's not worth the 20 minute drive. So you stay in line and you buy your suit. Aha! You have fallen for the cognitive illusion. How come you were willing to drive 20 minutes to save $8 off a toothbrush, but not a suit? Before I explain, let me show you how this same type of cognitive illusion can cause you to fall into the immediate gratification trap. The example comes from the book Driven by Paul Lawrence and Nitin Nuria. In the example, participants were given a choice to receive $100 in 28 days or $120 in 31 days. Most of the participants in the study chose waiting three extra days to get the $120. Next, participants were given the decision of receiving $100 now or $120 in three days. In this decision, the same participants chose the $100 now over waiting three extra days for the $120 reward. So why did the participants decide to change their decision? if the time between rewards in both choices is only three days. The same reason you are willing to drive across town to save $8 on a toothbrush, but not a suit. The problem occurs because like in the dot visual illusion, we measure the alternatives of our decisions based off of relative information. The only sure way to know if the dots are the same size is to use an external measuring device like a ruler. The same holds true for cognitive illusions. Yet most people don't take the time to establish the correct cognitive ruler. In the toothbrush example, our natural tendency is to compare $8 in savings to the $15 toothbrush price tag and think, yeah, that's a great deal. In the suit example, we compare the $8 in savings to the $500 price tag and think, yeah, that's not a very good deal. Yet in both instances, you save $8 by driving 20 minutes. The correct cognitive ruler to assess both of these decisions is to ask yourself whether driving 20 minutes to save $8 is worth it. If it is, then you should always drive 20 minutes to save $8, whether you are buying a toothbrush or a suit. In the money and time example, participants compare 3 days with 28 days and decide that waiting the 3 extra days after having waited 28 does not seem like that much longer to get the larger $120 reward. But when compared with receiving the $100 reward right now, having to wait three extra days seems like an eternity, and the participants choose the fast money. The correct way to establish a cognitive ruler and avoid the immediate gratification trap is to look at the time between rewards and the value of both rewards. In both decisions, the time between rewards is three days. The difference in value is also the same at $20 or a 20% return on your money. 
So the correct cognitive ruler is to ask yourself if waiting three days is worth making 20% on your money. I don't know of any investments that guarantee a 20% return in three days. And in this example, it is always better to wait three days for the larger reward. The best way to avoid the relativity that causes immediate gratification traps is to establish an external measuring device such as a cognitive ruler. Because the ruler changes from decision to decision, I ask myself three simple questions to make sure I am evaluating a decision properly. One, what information am I using to evaluate the decision? Two, am I making a relative comparison? And three, can I establish an external cognitive ruler? If you can answer these three questions and establish a cognitive ruler, you will avoid the relativity that causes immediate gratification traps. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to your feedback.